On August 10th, 2013, the first kaiju trespasser obliterated San Francisco and the Bay Area. It took six days and three nukes to stop it, but that was just the beginning of the kaiju war. The Pan Pacific Defense Corps was established to combat the kaiju, but the catastrophic fallout from nuclear war back for a more environment-friendly weapon. Enter Dr. Jasper Schoenfeld. Following the fourth kaiju attack in Sydney, Dr. Schoenfeld watched his son do battle against toy monsters with his robot action figures and probably thought, why the hell not? With the help of an old student and romantic flame, Caitlin Lightcap, the two pitched the PBDC on a new method to fight the kaiju, gigantic robots. They weren't just any robots, though. These Jaegers were piloted by humans jacked in via a neural interface called the Pons. But testing the Mark I Brawler Yukon was a disaster. The neural load induced a seizure in its pilot so instead like have created a neural bridge that would allow two minds to bear the load of one Jaeger through a process called drifting. With the fate of the Jaeger program and the world on the line, Lycap and Lieutenant Sir Gio Donofrio piloted Brawler Yukon and defeated the fifth kaiju to make land Karloff. But as humans began to turn the tide of the war against what they thought were primal beasts, the kaiju's shadowy masters began to evolve and adapt their monsters in response to the Jaegers. Known as the Precursors, they've patiently awaited for humans to pollute the planet to desirable levels because their dry run with the Stegosauruses around 60 65 million years ago was a flop. And with all that time spent waiting, they continue to iterate on their creations, upgrading carbon to silicon, allowing only the strongest mutations to survive. Itching to trade their dying world for another, the precursors are sending their exterminators through the breach. And all humanity's got is a wall. Have fun.